Hey sub family, welcome back to another video guys. So today we got the BMW X3 E83 and I'm going to show you guys how to replace your valve cover gasket on the BMW X3. And I want to show you some products here that you will need. You're going to need some engine cleaner guys. You're also going to need some brake cleaner. You're going to need some microfiber cloths. You're going to need some ultra red gasket maker. And you're also going to need this gasket maker. And this is the right stuff just so you know, I don't forget to mention that to you guys. This is ultra red. This is for high temp. We might use this or we might not. I just wanted to show you guys the products and let's get straight to changing the valve cover gasket on the BMW X3 guys. Okay guys, so in order to remove these two bolts here to this crossbar here, this engine crossbar, whatever you like to call it, you have to go ahead and remove this out the way. And this is just like a terminal to the battery. So you wanna go ahead and lift this little piece up here and it's kind of like slid on there like that. And it comes with a little black piece like this guys. And what I did is just pulled up and it came straight out and this falls out. So make sure you be careful and catch that, you know, so it won't fall down in your engine there guys. And then you wanna go ahead and take a half inch socket and remove these bolts from this crossbar here. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the driver's side so you guys can get an idea. So you wanna take your half inch socket here and just remove each bolt like this. And this should come straight out like that, guys. And then you can go ahead and remove the crossbar. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these little caps just like that on each side here. And these will expose these bolts. And there's two in the back. I'm gonna just pry up on those. Be gentle, because they will break. Okay guys, so after you remove all four caps off of this cover here, you wanna go ahead and take out an 11 millimeter socket and just take out these bolts. Take out each bolt. Then you want to go ahead and take the other two out on the back and you can take a little magnet tool to pull these things up out of here and I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so those were the two bolts I was talking about removing. So there's one, two right here. Right here is three and four. So I'm going to show you how to take the bolts out of there just like that. That one needs to be twisted out a little bit more. Take the bolt out of there just like that and it comes out just like that guys. I'm going to go ahead and just lift up on this cover and take it out just like that. You wanna take the oil fill cap off here and lift it up just like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and lift this cover up, guys. And the valve cover is exposed right here. And as you guys can see, there's a little oil right here. This is a sign of the valve cover leaking. So I'm gonna show you the next steps. You wanna go ahead and take these spark plug levers and push them up and then pull out the little connector like that on each one and just be really easy guys because this stuff breaks easy and it goes all the way to the back like this. So once you have all them pulled out, you're gonna go ahead and pull up. Okay guys, so you're gonna struggle a little bit pulling these ignition coils up out of here, but I'm gonna show you guys how to pull them up out of here so you can have an idea of that. So you want to take it and just twist it and pull at the same time and then to come just like that out. What you want to do is when you take these out guys, you want to go ahead and put them over to the side like this and just make sure you have them in the order they already were in. Just like this guys. Twist it. And as you guys can see, it's a little hard. To pull up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts and what it is is it's holding this harness for these um, ignition coils here so you want to go ahead and remove these uh, bolts right here with a uh, 5 16 socket and just make sure you take your time guys because these bolts will fall in here and you don't want them to you want to go ahead and remove this bolt as well there's only two so you wanna go ahead, after you remove this bolt, you wanna go ahead and lift it up just like that. Okay guys, so after you remove these two bolts here, it's gonna release this wiring harness for the ignition coils here. And what you're gonna do is take a flathead and you're gonna go ahead and pinch up under there and pull up like this. And then you're gonna go 
right here and do it right here and right here and do it and then you're gonna go a little bit over right here and lift it up just like that a little bit right here just like that guys go ahead and put this to the side just like this guys and that's how you do that you want to go ahead and take a flat head and kind of pull this little cover off here guys just like this and pull that out and this will allow you to move these cords over this way just like this and then you got that out the way so now after we remove the cords from here and laid them over to the side we're now going to remove this cabin air filter and twist these little things on the side and they come straight up like that then you want to go ahead and slide your cabin air filter out just like that guys throw that to the side you want to go ahead and take a t27 torx bit here and you're going to see one two three four screws here and you're just going to unscrew them just like that just unscrew all four of them guys And then after you're done unscrewing that, take your magnetic tool and reach back there and grab the screws out. I'm just going to show you how to remove these bolts really easy. So you want to take the magnetic tool and pull at the same time. And this prevents you from dropping them. On this side, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. And that's how you do that. And now what you want to do is take your weather strip here and just... Put it up like that on each side and then you're going to go ahead and just slide this out like this guys and it should just come straight out just be careful okay guys and when you take this off you want to keep the bolts with it you know so you can know that those are the pacific bolts that go to this cabin air filter housing here and as you can see guys there's so much more room to work here and it's just amazing so i'm going to be able to take this valve cover off with a little ease and I want to show you the next step here. So you want to go ahead and now remove this. Just make sure you're real gentle. It might be a little hard to pull here. You want to squeeze the bottom and the top and just pull it out. When you take this off, you want to be real easy because it kind of sounds like it's breaking there, guys. But it's not breaking. So, you know, you want to be real easy. You want to squeeze both sides top and bottom and pull it because this thing is a pain in the butt to replace and then when you put it back on there's a little o-ring right here if you guys can see that it's a black little o-ring and you want to put some oil around that so next time you slide it off it'll be a lot easier we're going to go ahead and remove these two things right here but first i want to show you that you want to take this oil filler cap and just put it back on there just like that guys then we're gonna come down here and all you got to do is pop these up out of place just like this all the way around just like this guys there's another clip over there And then back here, there's a little clip. You probably can't see that, but I'm going to get a light and show you guys. Back here, there's a little clip right there. And you just lift up and push that to the side like that, guys. Just like that. And then it's off. Hey guys, so now after you remove all them cords down this way and push them kind of out of the way, you want to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter and remove these bolts here. like this make sure you be careful because there's washers right here just throw them to the side for this bolt down here so you want to just take a little socket and just do it by hand like that take this magnetic tool so you can catch that washer when it comes out the bolt comes out of here 
So just like that, and you got it out. make sure you get these washers up guys like that and put it back on there And some of these bolts in the back, guys, you're going to have to get that with a ratchet. But I'm just getting the bolts out that I can with this because it just makes it so much simpler. So there's a bolt down here, too. There's just so many bolts that you got to remove. Take your magnet tool here, guys, and just make sure when it comes out, you catch it with that magnet tool. Just like that. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to take the rest of these bolts out, and I'll just give you an idea on how you can take each bolt off. So there's a bolt here, here, and there, and there's one, two, three, four in the middle that you got to take out. After you take these bolts out, the valve cover should come up. And after I take them out, I'm going to get back to you. Guys, so I know I told you I was going to come back after I had removed every bolt from the valve cover. I just want to show you how to remove these middle bolts here. Let's take it and unscrew it like that. And just be careful. As you guys can see, there's a washer right here. And you want to take that magnetic tool and get that up. But if you are wanting to replace your spark plugs at the same time, I would kind of wait after you put the valve cover back on to replace your spark plugs. So we're going to remove each bolt from here. There's one back here, but we're going to have to get that with a ratchet here, guys. I just wanted to show you the location of this bolt. It's right here. And you just want to take your ratchet and remove that, guys. And that should be the last bolt. And don't forget to get the washers out of there. As you can see, the washer still in there. Take the magnetic tool and uh, just get it out just like that, guys. So after you remove the middle bolts, they will look like this. And then you want to take your magnet tool. Go ahead and grab the washers here and put them on the bolt just like that so you know what they go to. You don't want to lose those or mix those up. I've already removed two washers. You want to go ahead and remove the other two. Slide them on there just like that and hold them. There's one more back here. I do want to mention to you to take these little gaskets off here. These are the bolt gaskets for around the valve cover. And what you want to do is take a flathead here and just pry them up like that and take them off from around the valve cover because these could fall in the engine and you don't want that and also guys as you can see these are really hard like almost like plastic they're not good it's best to get a kit that has these and just replace all of them and guys where we took them four bolts out of the middle there's also gaskets in here for them bolts so they're pretty much the same all the way around you want to go ahead and pry them up out of there just like this see they're almost like plastic guys so it's kind of like hard to get up here so you want to go ahead and take this gasket out as well and take the other gasket just like that guys and you got them if they look like this and they have all this white stuff on the top they're bad and they need to be replaced i wouldn't recommend reusing these and i do want to mention that this valve cover is hard to get off so you want to take your flathead and kind of pry up right here, kind of like uh, bang it with a mallet that looks like this, just at the top portion, very lightly. You don't want to do it too hard because as you guys can see, this thing is hard to get up. It's not coming. I'm going to tell you right now that prying this valve cover up is not the easiest thing in the world. So you might kind of like mess the metal up here a little bit with the screwdriver. It should be fine. If you do gouge the bottom portion right here where the gasket goes, just make sure you put some RTV right there because you don't want no leaks. So, you know, I didn't gouge that, thankfully. But you want to kind of like go in between the valve cover and in between the valve cover gasket and then pry up like this. 
and it should come up like that halfway and then what you want to do is just pry up like this very lightly guys And what's going to happen is the valve cover is kind of going to stick and you want to take it out just like that and that's how you get it out guys okay guys so i kind of want to show you the valve cover gasket and what condition it's in it's actually in really bad condition as you can see it's really brittle right here so it cracks and it's almost like a plastic it's definitely due for a uh change here don't think because your vehicle has low mileage that this couldn't happen to you because this car has 60,000 miles. So for it to be a 60,000 mile car and this happened, it tells you that this needs to be changed ahead of time. So as you can see, the gasket where the spark plug hole is, it's off and it came off right here. Thankfully, nothing fell in here. So when you do take the valve cover off, you want to check in here and make sure there's no pieces of gasket in here, guys, because you don't want anything in here because that can mess your engine up. There's also a piece of gasket right here, as you can see, guys, and that has to come off. You can take a flathead like this and kind of pry it up off there. It's almost like a plastic, so it's probably going to chip off. So you want to take that flathead and just pry it off of there. You can shove some microfiber cloths down in there to prevent it from falling down in the engine and just pry that off slowly because it will chip. And also, guys, you know, this will be a little hard to remove. So look, guys, let me show you. Look at that. That's plastic. That's not rubber anymore. That's bad. It's really bad. But yeah, guys, let me get to removing these gaskets out of here and i'll show you how to clean that afterwards make sure you check back here and you remove every gasket that's on there and i do want to tell you guys that when you see a spark plug gasket stuck on like this i'm having a little trouble prying it off you kind of don't want to scrape this area or nothing try to take some pliers and pull it and if it don't come off like that you have to do some more prying here just a little prying to get it up. I just want to show you guys how to, just like that, guys. And that's how you get that off. Anything that's stuck on there, just try to pull it off first. If it don't come up, try to take a pair of pliers and get the gasket off. And if that don't work, take a flat head and pry it up. So I'm in the cleaning process right now. So basically, you want to just take a microfiber cloth like this. I done cleaned this portion right here. As you can see, it's a little bit better now, guys. And you just want to dust it out away from the engine like that because it might have some pieces of gasket on there. And you just want to spray it like that. Put that to the side. And then go ahead and wipe that down. You want to make sure this whole area is clean. engine is a little bit you know rough here i did a flush on it but it seems like the flush didn't do too too good i guess the previous owner didn't really change the oil that often in this thing it looks pretty clean though it's not too bad honestly but i've seen worse but this ain't this ain't too too bad then guys you want to take some brake cleaner and down there you want to spray you're going to go ahead and take your microfiber cloth and just wipe under there because there's oil at the bottom portion that leaks out right here. And you want to just clean that up. Just like that. Get down in there. And as you guys can see, that's a little bit cleaner than it was down there definitely clean i'm taking some engine cleaner foam and spraying it right here letting it sit for a little bit and then i put a microfiber cloth right here and what i'm doing is just scrubbing this portion just make sure you don't get this in your engine guys but this degreaser is actually getting this stuff off really good so this kind of looks ghetto a toothbrush but hey it fits in the the nook and crannies man 
I'm getting it clean here. This stuff will just seat down to the bottom. You don't have to worry. It's made for engines. You want to make sure you get this part clean. A lot of people won't probably tell you that, but brake cleaner just ain't going to do it if it's this dirty, guys. So you just want to keep scrubbing every area like this. And just spray it on slowly like this so it does not go in your engine. And then you're going to continue scrubbing. So that's pretty much how you do that, guys. And you're going to keep doing that same process until it's completely clean. And then you're going to go ahead and take some brakes parts cleaner and just spray it down just like this. Don't try to get this in your engine. Just spray this little portion off right here. Clean it real well. And then you're just going to let that sit on there. Hey guys, so as you see, I cleaned this whole area right here. You can see the before and after. Now it looks amazing, guys. And I cleaned this whole surface area right here where the gas is going to lay. What you want to do is go ahead and take some brake cleaner and spray it. It won't hurt it if you get it a little bit inside of the engine. I don't recommend you to get too much in there, but just spray it around and wipe it as you go. And also take the microfiber cloth, spray it on the microfiber cloth, and then also wipe it around and you'll be able to clean the surface area so the gasket can lay down better guys and you also want to take the microfiber cloth and some brake cleaner and clean around the gasket areas where the spark plug holes are and that's how you do that and i'm going to show you how to take the gasket off of the valve cover we got the valve cover here and as you can see some places the valve cover gasket broke and stuff like that it's really brittle see guys like very brittle it just breaks that means it's bad so you want to go ahead and take some pick tools like this. And what we're going to do first is we're going to start removing these oval ones in the center. And they're going to be hard due to them being stuck in there. If you can pull it out with your finger, then do that. And just make sure there's no gasket left in the uh, cracks and crevices of where the gasket seals go. You also want to take this and clean it real well. I don't recommend you to put it back on here like this because... You know, you want to clean that. Just make sure there's no gasket pieces inside of here that can fall in the engine like that. And we're just going to continue to remove these little by little, guys. They're very brittle. Wow. Bad. For only 60,000 miles, and this is what you have here. Uh-oh. See, now this one's a little hard to get up. So what you're going to do is take your little pick tool. If that's not working out, you can try different methods. That's not going to work. So we're going to go ahead back to the pick tool here. Just pry it from the side. Like this. I want to show you guys how to remove these. Because there's not too many videos that show you in detail on how to remove them like that. And then we got this one over here. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this guy. Just want to go ahead and just like that. So after you removed everything right here, all the spark plug gaskets, now we're going to focus on the gasket that goes around the valve cover here. So what you want to do is kind of take it towards the side here and just pry up like that. It will break. Go all the way around. Just like this, guys. Also wanted to show you, if you see this right here, it says BMW. That means this is the original gasket. Just pry that up, throw that to the side. 
this gasket ain't good whatsoever, guys. I'd say prying this thing off here, guys, is probably the hardest part. Because the gasket is just the pain. It's not, this part is not the easiest. So, when you're trying to get this valve cover gasket out and it's not coming out, you try your hardest just to pull. Go ahead and take your pick tool towards the end like this and just push up like this, guys. And this should just come straight out. And if it happens again, it breaks. Just do the same thing. And just continue to pull until you get the rest out of there. Okay, guys, we're almost there. We got this little piece left. And then after you're done that, you want to go ahead and you want to wash the whole valve cover with some degreaser and water and scrub it with a brush. And I'll show you the after results. Okay, guys, so I cleaned the valve cover as you can see. This is the best I could do. I used degreaser. I used brake cleaner. Guys, this thing would just not come completely clean, and I kind of didn't expect it to. It has baked on oil. But we're going to go ahead and take some of this, the right stuff, 90-minute gasket maker, and we're going to go ahead and put a bead of it in here, just like this, guys, just a little bead right there, right there, right there. And you're just going to keep going. This will help it from coming up. Because it tends to fall out just a bit. All you need is a little bit just like that, guys. And then the remainder that fell in here like that. You just want to take your fingers and kind of wipe it out like this. Just a little tiny bee, guys. Take that and wipe that off. And after you guys are done with that, you want to go ahead and take your spark plug seals here. You want to go ahead and press that in just like that. Press it down. Make sure this little top part is pressed in up here as well, guys. Just like that. And take your other one and put it in here. Just like that, press it in one at a time. Make sure it goes around this little area here. Just like that, guys. And that's how you put the spark plug gaskets on, guys. And I'm gonna show you how to put the other gasket on. Come up close and look at this. Just like that. On each corner where the bolt holes are, and then you want to go ahead and take your gasket, guys, and just line it up here. And just push it in little by little. I'm going to show you how to do this the whole way, guys. You want to make sure it's in there. It might set up just a little tiny bit. And when you put the bolts in, it will compress this down a bit, so don't worry about that. Keep putting it in like this very gently and then go around the whole valve cover and press the gasket in like this. And then after you've done that, guys, I'm going to show you how to put the gasket maker on each side of the valve cover gasket. Just showed you how to put the valve cover gasket on the valve cover. And I want to show you that you need to take some of this right stuff and you need to put a bead on each corner. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to take a bead and put it there. Take a bead and put it there. You're going to come over here and you're going to take a bead and put it right there. Right here as well, guys. And you're going to go ahead and put some right here. And you're going to take some and put it right here as well. I just wanted to show you that I put some silicone along here and kind of rubbed it with my finger on each side. Just so you can have an idea on what that looks like. And that's what you want to do. Okay, guys. So now we're in the engine bay. I do want to tell you something. This is very critical and you must know that... 
the cylinder head and the timing cover right here where that meets there's a little gap right here if you guys can see that what you want to do is you want to take some the right stuff gasket maker and put a bead of that right here like that and just rub it with your finger along there guys and that should seal that up just like that guys and then you want to come down here and do the same exact thing you want to put a bead down here just like that and rub it just like that guys because this can cause leaks and you don't want a leak to happen so you want to get that covered with some silicone there guys and that should be it okay guys so i do want to tell you that this valve cover gasket goes on one way and it goes on just like this as you can see on this side there's a bolt hole and on this side there ain't so you're going to know exactly how to put that on guys so i'm going to get ready for the installation now so what you want to do is you want to take it and put it in here nice and easy and don't push it just let it fall down in place just like this guys you don't want to really push that and that's how you put it on just like that okay guys so now you want to go ahead and put these middle bolts in here i already put this one this one and that one in the back in there so you want to go ahead and clean this whole thing off just wipe it with a microfiber cloth there's four of these bolts that go in the middle so there's one two three four what you want to do is you want to go ahead i'm going to take this off and show you guys again you want to take the bolt that goes in the center you want to put the washer on just like that and then you want to put the grommet on just like this and this is the easiest way to stick it in there just like that twist it by hand and twist it all the way down like that on each one after you tighten each bolt by hand around the valve cover and in the middle, make sure you put the rubber garments in the bolts as well, guys. You want to go ahead and take a little mirror like this. It's like a little adjustable mirror. And you want to go ahead and check the back seals back here and make sure they're down on the head here. And you want to go around the whole entire valve cover like this and make sure the valve cover gasket is seating properly guys. So when you screw each of these bolts in, you wanna do the middle, bottom, and then top, middle, bottom, and then top, middle, bottom, and then top, one fourth guys. So that's how you're gonna screw these bolts in. And once I'm done torquing these bolts down, I'm gonna come back to you, but I also wanna to mention to you, when you tighten these bolts down, you're gonna feel that snug. And then once you feel that snug, you wanna turn it a quarter of the way, and then it's tight and leave it there. Don't tighten it anymore. Now I'm going to show you how to tighten these bolts in the order I showed you. So we're going to go ahead and start with the middle one. And then we're going to do that first. And then we're going to do the bottom and then the top. I already did this section here. So you're going to keep snugging it down. Just like this, guys. And then you're going to feel it bottom out there. And then you're going to snug it like that. Got that one in. And this one. I have to take this extension off here, guys. We're doing the bottom one here. And we're almost done. Turn it a quarter of the way. And that's all you should need to turn it right there. You want to double check that. And then we're going to start with the top portion here. I just want to show you guys an example on how to torque these bolts down by feel. So you can have an idea of that. So you're gonna tighten it and turn it a quarter of the way and then you got it down there and it's seated. And that's how you do that. Go middle, bottom and top for the rest of the way. And then you're done guys. For this, you wanna go ahead and use motor oil preferably and dab your finger in that. And then you wanna go ahead and kind of lube that o-ring up in there lube this area up just like that guys kind of get it on there work it on there like that and just go ahead and push it back in like that and you'll hear a clip 
and then you know it's in there. And then I'm going to show you everything else you need to put back on and put together. So there's a little area right here where this little clip goes in. So you want to go ahead and take this clip and be careful not to drop it and just slide it up in there. Just like that, guys, what you want to do is you want to take both of these two black wires that will be back here and you want to go ahead and put them in here. And then after you put the two wires in here, you're going to run it along here and push it down. There's two little clips that you just push it into. Run it along here. Then you're going to take this big clip right here. That's right there, guys. And just put both of the cords in there like that. Once you run them down. And then you're going to fix it up like this. Put both cords in there like that. And then you're going to take this right here and you're going to go ahead and just clip that back in place like that guy. And then you're going to go ahead and run it all the way up here. Push that in that little clip area right there. You can go ahead and push that down there like that. And then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for this guy. And that's it for that. So when you put this in this cabin air filter housing in here, you just want to take this whole thing have it up like this and slide it in there like that and it'll pop straight in. And then you want to make sure these gaskets are up like this and just make sure it's secure right there. And then there's going to be one, two, three, four bolts that you have to put in. So there's one, two, three, four bolts that you have to screw in. Once you get this cabin filter housing in here, you want to go ahead and put them four bolts in and twist them in by hand. Then you want to go ahead and take your T socket and twist them in there like that, guys. Then you want to do the last one like this. And then after you do that, guys, you have it good and secure. And now you're ready to put the cabin filter in. So now I'm going to show you how to install the cabin air filter here. So you want to go ahead and have it positioned this way. And you want to just slide it in there just like this, guys. And then to fall right into two grooves that are down there. And now you got it in there secure. Then you want to go ahead and take these little screws right here. Just hold the cover down here. And you want to twist them in like this on each side. And you want to go with this one here. Twist that one in. And now everything's secure. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you how to clip these cables in here. So you want to take this one, this battery terminal one here. And you want to go ahead and clip that in just like this, guys. You want to kind of pull it a little bit right here. Okay. And it should be able to reach over here, guys. And then you want to take this guy to so the ignition coils here. Lay that down there. And you're going to go ahead and clip that in just like so. All the way along the top and then after you do that you're gonna go ahead and take this cover right here guys turn it around the other way I'm gonna go ahead and just clip the cover right in there just like that just like that so now you want to go ahead and take this after you done put the cables and stuff through here. And this just clips in down here. I'm going to take it like this. Position it. And just push it down along the way like this. And then you want to go ahead and take these little terminals here. Put them right in between here. Like this, guys. Just like that. You got another one right here. Put it in there just like that. And you're going to go ahead and take 
Your little bolt here. 516 socket. You're going to twist that on by hand. Just like this, guys. And kind of make sure you keep it straight. Just like this. Take your 516 and just tighten it down just like that. When you feel a snug feeling, just stop. Then you're going to go ahead and take your other one. Do the same thing. Just be careful not to drop your bolts here, guys. Take your 516 socket. Hold that down and twist it in position. Just like that, guys. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and put the coil packs in the position that it needs to be in, guys. So you want to go ahead and take some grease here. And this is for spark plugs. And you're going to just put a bit in there like that. You're going to go ahead and put the first coil pack in there, just like that. And you want to make sure you press down on that thing. And then you're going to snug on it to make sure it's in there, guys. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and pop this connector on here real easily. And then pop that down. Push it in the rest of the way. Make sure it's in there, guys. It's seating right, and then you're done with the first one. Now we're going to move on to the second one. I do want to mention, if I was you, I'll just keep these in order as you took them out of here because I wouldn't mix these up. I would want them to go back in the same place. I mean, it don't matter where they go, but we're going to go ahead and put the second one in. And that one clipped in there. We're going to go ahead and connect the connector just like that. Push it in, clip it down, push it, make sure it's snug. Third one. I'm gonna go ahead, put some grease in there like that, guys. Then you're gonna go ahead and take this connector and connect it just like that. And then you're gonna do the rest the same way I showed you these three guys. So I just showed you how to put each ignition coil back in place where it needed to be. Now we're moving on to this terminal here. And what you wanna do is kind of move this weather strip to the side. And then you wanna take this, kind of stretch it up and place it over just like this guys. Put this back in place like that. So I just showed you how to put this back on and I showed you how to put this terminal back right here. And I just call that a terminal there. So we're gonna go ahead and take this bolt and just tighten it with your fingers down here, guys, just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and take a 19 millimeter socket and twist that thing back on there, just like this. You just wanna snug it down, just like that, guys nice and tight on there put that door back right there then you want to take this little black thing that goes right here to hold this in place this in here like this you want to hold it and push it and then lift this up right here this back piece and then you're going to come to the back here and look as you're pushing it you're going to slide this piece right on there like that and that's going to hold that in place and to get this piece off you want to just pull this up and pull this little piece out here that's holding that mechanism in place. And that's how you get that done. And after you're done that, guys, you want to go ahead and put this weather strip back on here. Just like this. And seat that down like that. Make sure this is covering that. And then you're done with that. Okay, guys. So before you install this, you want to go ahead and install this crossbar here. So you want to go ahead and put one bolt in this side and one bolt in that side to hold it. And then you want to take your, this is a 9 16 You're going to go ahead and tighten that down just like that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take the other one. Pop it in there like that. Screw it down by hand. Take your 9 16 Tighten that down. And then you do the same thing to the other side, guys. Okay guys, so after you got that crossbar installed there, you wanna go ahead and take this cover, the BMW cover. You wanna make sure these don't fall off right here because these will fall off and so will this gasket here. But you wanna go ahead and take this oil filler cap up off of here. 
And then you want to turn that around like this, guys. Place it to the back. And it will just fall right into them screws. Just like this. That's how you put that on there. You want to go ahead and take these bolts. Put them down in there, guys. And take this 10 millimeter. And just screw it down in there. My hand. And you want to do that same thing to the other one back here. Just be careful. That you don't drop it. You want to twist that in by hand. And then you want to go ahead and screw these in with your 10 millimeter. This cover here, guys. Make sure you get the one in the back. Snug them down. Once they're snug, the cover should not move. And then you want to go ahead and take the oil filler cap, screw it back on there, wipe it off with the microfiber cloth, just like that, guys. And you're going to go ahead and take these little caps that go right here, wipe them off as well. I'm going to go ahead and just clip that back in there. Do the same thing to the back here, guys. Put that down in there and that covers installed. So now we're on the last cover here. And what you want to do, slide it up under here like that and just place it down like that. Position it in the bolt holes here, guys. Just like that. And you're going to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket. Tighten it down. Just barely snug. And then you're going to do the same thing back here. Tighten it in there, guys. Might want to remove all this when you do the valve cover because it makes it so much easier. Take these two little covers here. I'm going to cover the back one up like so. I'm going to cover the front one up like so. And then you're done with everything, guys. And that's the job. That's how you complete it from front to back. I showed you. I hope you guys appreciated that. Okay, guys, so we just completed the valve cover gasket change on the BMW X3 E83. I know it took long, guys. It's night out. I did it in the middle of the day. This is what happens when you do it in the middle of the day, guys. But if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I just want to let you guys know Jesus is king. God bless you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.